today we have a demonstration of a classic cassette recorder by G. It's the General Electric model 3-5105F not to be confused with another version which has the play button right here and the fast forward button right here which is not as well made and is not as good quality this one is working perfectly off original parts I haven't even taken the thing apart yet now yes the record play switch did have some static at first but after doing it in and out a whole bunch of times, they cleared that up. I also cleaned the head, which improved the audio record quality a little bit. Let's make a recording. Push record and play at the same time as you would on so many different cassette recorders. Well, I've already pressed the stop button. I can go ahead and rewind. Even fast forward, it stays down, you don't have to hold it. This has a very strong rewind of fast forward. Now, obviously, I'm using the built in microphone right now, speaking at. Push record and play at the same time as you would on so many different cassette recorders. Well, this GE recorder is DC bias. I have to lay down the news. It's DC bias. Now, obviously, I'm using the built-in microphone right now, speaking at a foot away or so from the microphone. Now I'm speaking right up to the built-in condenser microphone. Let's see how this sounds. Um, with this recorder, and now let's plug it in and I'm now using an external microphone with this cassette recorder. Sony F96 external microphone. So commonly shown in my videos. And very well used microphone. This also has pause. It's electrical pause and turns off the entire unit, which is the motor. Oh. And turns off the entire unit, not just the motor. I like it better when it turns off just the motor, but, well, it turns off the entire unit. If I want, I can modify it, but I don't know if I will. It's not that important. This is how it ejects the inner cassette recorder. This one uses a very well-made transport. The buttons feel very, very solid. No brakes, though. These can turn freely. Next, I'll show how it records music. And one thing I noticed, I first tried it on here. And there was some bass distortion. On this other tape, the bass distortion isn't as bad, I don't think. Shows how selective some DC bias recorders can be with tapes.
this sounds through computer audio. It's going into the computer which goes into this amp. Oh, I still have it balanced over to that side. childhood homes that they brought in there and restored. So I hope you enjoyed the video of this cassette recorder. There's some more cassette recorders to come up soon in videos. So look forward.